Spider if you Gwen, have the pleasure of introducing yet. us to a new character in the Marvel Universe on screen, at least. Obviously, comic book. But I think you would really like the So can you tell us a little bit about Kamala Khan? Kamala Khan is, uh, she's a huge fan of superheroes. She loves superheroes. She's the ultimate superhero fan girl. And so when she gets her powers, she is extremely excited. And also cannot believe it. And also extremely nervous. Because she's got a lot to prove. These are all her heroes that, you know, she gets to, she gets to be a part of. Um, and she can embiggen her fists, which is something she loves doing, and embiggen! And she also can morph her body to get big and small. And um, she, in this in this movie, her best friend is Squirrel Girl, and together they have an amazing friendship and relationship, and they are wanting to make the world a better place, and that's really what it's about. There's two superheroes that are kind of just starting out in their superhero world, and they have something to prove. It's kind of nice the because the only real in the MCU at least, and, and sort of what that's mostly what we know of Marvel, it's like the only real yeah, young well, hero we've well, seen well, is China. Well, well, so it's good to see, and especially to young women, who showing kids that they can to, to believe in themselves and to go out there and that. Can you talk about like the importance of that and the representation for children showing younger heroes? Absolutely. I mean, I think so often we see the end result of someone. We always see someone as a hero or... Or even in real life, we see so someone's success, and we never get to see all the failures so that it took to get to that point. So and there are so many failures. And no and, one ever wants to talk about that. But that's the most uh, uh, inspiring yeah, part of, of becoming a hero or becoming whatever to, like, goal it is that you want to achieve. And so it's well, nice you know, to see these, well, well, these new heroes figure figure, figure, figure their, 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 their way through this world and find their footing as heroes. And seeing that it's okay if you don't know right off the bat. It's okay that you are thrown into something. It's about you know working hard towards it and, and, and trying to learn from your experience and, and believing in yourself, knowing that you can get to your goal if you, if you work hard enough and if you can believe in yourself. Um, there's a and then we know, I th there's a moment a with, between America I mean, and Kamala where um, but, America but says something and, you know it's I, I forget the exact line but it's something it's like very different than you know Mulan, especially for example. Yes. <laughs> and obviously yes. you find out later um, it's about the inhuman thing but obviously with our political mindset you think something and else and it it struck me as a really great that, moment because it is it's one of those moments where it, these, these properties can yeah, teach you something yeah, about the world you live in without are, delving completely into it, and it works as a really, for children especially, but even for adults. Yeah. So can you talk about, too, more the importance of, of that, of showing the diversity on the screen and the different ideas and approaches through a superhero lens? Definitely. I mean, I think... But more than that, about the in, in today's stories, world, it is so important to have a, a, and that there is that a universe for, for audiences to look at that are reflective of their own of their own of their own experience, and also to celebrate the differences. And I think Marvel Rising is so much about celebrating the differences, and also realizing that there are people out there that are threatened by 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 differences, by individual uh, by, by people that they don't understand. And I love that moment that you talk about because it's it's one of my favorite moments because it's the first time that you see Kamala react in such a viscerally uh, emotional way. And you understand why, because she feels like she's been judged before America even got to know who she was. And so often that's really the world that we are living in. People are being judged without without getting to a chance to show who they are as individuals. And so I think this project is so important because it is reflective of people that are in our society. It is reflective of people that are being discriminated against. And, and it shows that no one wins when you do that. And it's important for us to see each other as individuals and to judge based on, on individuals and who they are as well.
This is for, feels like the real the first in a, a series of pushes that Marvel is making in the on screen portion of having strong women in the lead on the series. You've got this, obviously Captain Marvel's coming, and we have just announced female led ABC superhero show, but we don't know who's going to be in it, right? So, uh, so what it, how important it is it to you to be part of that, the beginning of the push of really incorporating the women more as opposed to just having them stand in the background? Um, I feel incredibly blessed to be a part of it, not just incorporating women, incorporating people of color, incorporating, um, incorporating people who have, you know, various sexual orientations, and I think that it's incredibly, incredibly important because media has the potential to shape opinions, shape the world, and if we can in any way contribute, and if I can in any way be a part of contributing to creating a, a more tolerant, kinder place, I, I feel honored to be able to do something like that. And especially as someone who comes from, you know, to be able to voice Kamala is huge for me. She's, she's a brown girl, she comes from a Muslim family, her family is very, very important to her. And for me to see a superhero that looks like me, that I can, I can relate to because she's the child of immigrants, because she does have Muslim family. It's huge. And I can't I can't even imagine what that would have been like as a child. I had nothing close to that as a kid. So I feel incredibly blessed and fortunate and, and I hope that I can continue to uh, you know bring those kinds of characters to the forefront because they are so important and, and it's all, it should have happened a long time ago. Alright, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much.